Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about alternate versions of books I would read. Part one. This is going to be a multi-parter book topic series or whatever of alternate versions of books I would read of characters that um, should have done some things differently compared to what they actually did in the books. And um, just a little warning for spoilers if any of you guys haven't read any of these books yet. So... Without further ado, let's get on to the books. The first alternate version of a book that I would read is in If He Had Been With Me, what if Phineas and Autumn confessed their feelings to each other when they were like 14 or so? If that would have happened, I feel like they would have become a couple throughout high school. That means Autumn wouldn't have dated Jamie, Phineas wouldn't have dated Sylvie, and Maybe Phineas wouldn't have died in that car accident near the end of the book, or I think it was the beginning of the book, something along those lines. And I feel like they should have became a couple to begin with, but I guess they wanted to make it more realistic, more realistic about how they would, you know, drift apart or whatever and shit. So that's what I think, sh um, you know, that would be another alternate version of a book I would read. And I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would read a book like that because they would really wanted to see Autumn and Phineas get together and become a couple throughout high school and actually talk to each other and get to know each other more throughout high school and whatnot. So it would have been really interesting to see. Anyway, on to the next book. The next alternate version of a book I would read is in fairest of all, what if the queen killed Verona? Because what actually, orig what originally happened is that the queen got jealous of Verona's beauty. So originally she wanted to kill her, but that didn't happen. So instead she sent her away to another village or a land. So she just sent her away and thought she'd become fairest of all by just by sending Verona away because she cared, the queen cared about Verona and Snow White too. But I don't think she had the heart to kill Verona, but what if she did? I feel like if she did kill Verona, I feel like she would just blame her death on someone else and then that person who was accused of Verona's murder would get executed and the queen would just, you know, get away with it all. That that would have been crazy. I feel like she, if she had a pure, darker heart, I feel like she could have had the chance to do so like she seems more capable and more evil to actually commit a crime like that even though she did nearly kill Snow White you know in the movie and in this book so I feel like she could have killed Verona too so anyway on to the third book the next alternate version of a book I would read is in The Outsiders. What if Ponyboy and Johnny never ran away? I feel like if Ponyboy and Johnny never ran away, I feel like, you know, those um, Ponyboy and Johnny wouldn't have gone to the playground and the Soches would have never encountered um, Ponyboy and Johnny in the playground. They wouldn't have the, the whole drunken fist fight because the, one of the Soches um, in the group were drunk. And then Pony Boy wouldn't have never like nearly drowned in the fountain. And Johnny would have never killed one of the boys, one of the socius in the group. But I feel like if Pony Boy never went ran away from when um his brother Derry, I think, when his brother Derry uh slapped him in the face, I feel like Pony Boy would just ran up to what could have happened was the Pony Boy could have ran up to his room and never talked to his brother ever again after that whole slap ordeal because whew, I would have have a feeling that Pony Boy would have resented his brother. Oh, and also I feel like Johnny would have never died because Pony Boy and Johnny ran away to this old abandoned church, and then by the time they went, um, they went back to the church after the you know they had Dairy Queen or some shit. Um, the church burned down and some kids were in there, and you know. Johnny ended up getting his back burned out and, you know, he died from his injuries. So I feel like Johnny would have never died and then Dallas would have never died from all of his, you know, rage that Johnny died because Dallas really liked Johnny as a friend and stuff. So I feel like, you know, it would have been interesting. A lot of changes would have been made in The Outsiders if Ponyboy and Johnny never ran away to begin with. On to the next book. And lastly, for now... The other alternate version of a book I would read, in all this time, what if Kimberly dying from a car accident 
and Kyle falling in love with Marley wasn't actually a dream. I would say a dream in quotes because what actually happened in the book is that Kyle um, dreamt, uh, Kyle was in a coma the whole time. He didn't imagine, he imagined Kimberly dying and him falling in love with Marley in the graveyard and whatnot. It was actually a whole dream. He was in a coma the whole time and he woke up in the hospital just now realizing everything he's been through was a dream. But what if it wasn't a dream? If it wasn't a dream, Kimberly would actually be dead. She would actually be dead. And, you know, Kyle would fall in love with Marley the, the normal way, the old-fashioned way, you know? I thought that was going to happen, but then we got that whole plot twist in the book that it was all a dream. But I feel like it would have been better if it wasn't a dream. I feel like it would have made it more interesting because, you know, Kyle lost his old ex-girlfriend, Kimberly, through the car accident and whatnot. So if that could have happened, things would have gone around, you know, more natural without the whole plot twist of the whole, it's been, it's a dream bullshit or whatever, but it's still a good, it's still a good book regardless of if it's a dream or not. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!